Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville YouTube channel. For this video, I'm going to show you how anyone can cheaply and easily fix a flat tire. Now this tire on my lawn tractor has gone flat on me, but this will work for your bike tires, your wheelbarrow tires, your car tires. It's worth a shot on anything. And what we are going to use is some slime. Now I got the gallon. There's smaller sizes, but I'm going to fix lots of flat tires with this thing. And there's three different types. There's the blue, blue stripe one, which is for tubeless tires. The red stripe, which is for tires with tubes inside them. And the yellow stripe is for emergency use. You may ask, what are the differences? I don't have an answer for you. I don't know. All I know is this is a tubeless tire, and that's blue, so that's what I'm going to use. There's links down below if you are interested. So no matter what size you get, you're going to get this little plastic thing. For the gallon, it's just attached to the side with a zip tie, but it's your cap if you buy smaller sizes. And we need to take the little valve outside of the valve stem. You want to make sure it's on the upper half of the tire as it is here, and it just unscrews. So lefty-loosey, righty-tighty, let's take that out. You're going to need that. Don't lose it. For this size of tire, we want eight ounces of slime. So that's eight pumps on the gallon jug. If you need to know how much you need in yours, go to Slime's website and they can tell you. But a tractor or a size similar to this, you need eight pumps. Now, before we can start counting our pumps, we need to prime the hose, which just means get the slime in your hose. Any other time in life, if you have slime in your hose, you need to go see the doctor. But for this, it's a good thing. So you can see it filling up the hose there. And we're just about to the end. We're ready. Now we're going to do eight full pumps all the way, in and out, like you've done this before. So we have one, two, eight. All right. Take your hose off, put your valve back in, remember righty tighty. Now we got to air it back up. This particular tire needs 12 PSI. Once you're aired back up, you need to spin the tire for three to five minutes. Or in my case, we're going to start it up and drive around for three to five minutes. And that is how you fix a flat tire. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe for another subscriber. Links down below, and I will see you guys next time.